what is good what is good what is good everybody of course it is yours truly dr mike coming back at you guys with another video today now you understand as we always do magandang maga magandang gabi magandang hapon which means good morning good evening and good afternoon hey what's good what's good what's good everybody of course you know who it is dr mike back again once again with another video classic video i apologize for interrupting your daily schedule programming but if this is your first time watching a dr mike tv video by all means make sure you hit that subscribe button check out the ebook trilogy prescription also check out uh <clears throat> dr mike on ig doc, at dr mike from the ph check out the new channel all that stuff is in the uh, description below this is part two ladies and gentlemen tart part not tart part two of my type of filipina part dos I do not wish to be before you long. That's why I'm gonna run through this video relatively quickly. My apologies, you can hear it's about the rain, so I do not wish to be before you long. Um, again, my apologies, guys. I did not mean to bring you two videos today. You know, I've been told that once you have a system or once you have a set schedule, you stick to that set schedule. That set schedule to me is always Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then live shows Friday nights and Saturday nights. That's normally the schedule. I should stick to it. So if I do give you videos twice in one day, I hope you don't overlook the video. And I hope that you know that when the vlogs come, you know, I'm going to try to keep that same schedule. Okay, I want you guys to understand Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Definitely, if I can fit in a live stream, depending on internet connection, you know how that goes in the Philippines. Not always the greatest. I'm going to stick to that. But without further ado, let me quit the talking and jump into the topic. My type of Filipina part two. I apologize if the uh, <laughs> if the title of the video has you a little bit confused. But I want to go ahead and jump into a topic that we were discussing somewhat in the comment section of the previous video. You know, a guy was in telling me, oh man, you know, Mike, I prefer a professional woman and stuff like that. So in this video, I wanted to discuss dating professional women versus dating non-professionals slash women who don't have jobs versus dating bar girls. <laughs> we'll get into that a little bit later. Hope you stay tuned to the end. It's going to be a good one. All right. Now, a lot of us, including myself, you know, I'm the type of person I would really love to date me a good professional woman, right? A woman who has her own money, has her own job, doing her own thing, right? And the reason why I love dating professional women is simply because I know they have their own money. They're not looking at me to take care of them. They're more so looking at me to bring benefit to their life, such as me bringing benefit to their lives, all right? And that's one of the beautiful things about being in a relationship with a professional woman. A professional woman is there because she wants to be, not because she has to be. I repeat, a professional woman will probably only be in a relationship with you because she wants to be, not because she has to be. Again, you know, she brings in her own money. She don't need your money. That's the reason why I like to date a professional woman. Two incomes, in my opinion, has always been better than one. But as a man, I must admit that there are some sacrifices that must be made sometimes when dating professional women. You know, they work late, you know, so you might have to sacrifice a lot of time. I apologize, but, you know, you might have to sacrifice a lot of your time with professional women because you know when they have their jobs and they do what they do they're gonna be busy too so when you're in a relationship with these women and you know you want a girl to be able to talk to sometimes and cook and clean for you and stuff like that not like a maid but you know a good partner sometimes she may not be there to do that stuff for you you understand so that's just an FYI something to think about again sliding into part two I'm sorry not part two but sliding into the non-working girls all right, now a non-working girl will always be around. She ain't got shit else to do. So what is she gonna do? She gonna cook for you, she clean for you, do whatever you needed to do. She'll be her, she'll know her role and play her part. And this is what a lot of guys go for because hey, you know, there's no competition with time or anything. You know, she's there for you when you need her. She's always there to take care of you, do what you needed to do. That's why a lot of foreigners don't want their girls to work. I'm not against it. But again, in my opinion, I prefer for professional women. <laughs> All right. But with the not with the non-professional girls who don't have jobs. Whenever you actually go out to do your job or do whatever you want to, them girls will nag the snot out of you. Think about it. 
If she ain't got nothing to do all day but worry about what you're doing, she is definitely going to be in your grill texting you. What you doing? I'm bored. When are you coming home? What are we going to do for dinner? What are we going to do with this? What are we going to do with that? Where are you? Are you with somebody else? Are you talking to another girl? When a girl has nothing but time on her hands to think, Filipinas more specifically, and other women too, when they have nothing on their mental but to think, they're always either, I'm not going to say they're going to always think negative, but I'm saying though, that's just bad juju because she's going to always be wor worrying you when you're trying to take care of other things. So that's one of the negative aspects that I've seen. And there are a lot of negative aspects. There are probably other negative aspects to add to this, but I'll, again, I wanted to make this relatively quick. So if you could come up with the pros and cons in your opinion on dating the, um, or, you know, the advantages and disadvantages of dating professional women, women with jobs, and then dating non-professional women or women without jobs, please comment down below because I'm just giving you a general synopsis and analysis of what I've learned through relationships, you know, through of, of others and my own, of course. And, you know, just letting you guys know how I personally feel about situation. But let's go ahead and jump into the meat and potatoes of it all. <laughs> Is there any benefit to dating a bar girl? <laughs> I was just fucking with y'all, man. I really did. I, I I didn't mean to make it like that, but that was my that was what was on my mind when I was coming up with this video. And the reason that it was on my mind is about to rain, guys. Give me a minute. <clears throat> Gotta sit down. Oh, it's getting a little dark. Okay. All right. So that was what was originally on my mind because I was thinking, you know, we give a lot of flack to bar girls and stuff like that. And if you've ever if you ever go back and check my whole catalog like all 200 plus videos up to this moment I have never really had a topic based on bar girls at all and the reason that is is because that's not my lifestyle it's not my forte that's not what I get that's not what I do that's not how I get down so if you're expecting my Philippine vlogs to be like that I'm sorry to disappoint you hold on let me throw my hood on rain's coming all right guys so anyways like I was saying you know are there any benefits to dating bar girls <laughs> here's how I see it guys you know, girls become bar girls for many different reasons. Number one, they're either forced to do it. Number two, I mean, there well, there's two reasons you can say that they're forced to do it. They're either forced into it by another guy or they're forced into it by, you know, circumstances, situations, environments, all right? So if they come from a poor family, then, you know, chances are, you know, they could get into it that way. And then there's also, also the fact that they just want to do it. They realize that there's a lot of money in it. They can get paid relatively well. And of course, if you're into intimacy and, you know, pro, 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 uh, participating in those particular acts, then of course, what do you expect? Of course, that's a good field to get into. Matter of fact, <clears throat> before I decided to settle down, I had dreams and aspirations of becoming a professional gigolo. And then I, that dream was shut down rather quickly. I couldn't sell myself to myself. So <laughs> that's when I realized that's not a career for me. When I cannot sell myself to myself, I realized that I'm not going to be able to sell myself to others. And I went to school for marketing. How effed up is that? <laughs> Anyways, back to the topic. You know, some we do, it's a lot of guys give a lot of flack to bar girls and stuff like that. And they shouldn't. But I understand why they do. You know, if you choose this lifestyle, that's the lifestyle you choose. And it's very dangerous and stuff like that. But is there any benefit to actually dating a bar girl? I don't know, man. I mean, maybe she could teach you some moves, I guess. But ultimately, I don't really think that that's the lifestyle for us. But I don't want, you know, guys to really be all like, oh, man, F a bar girl, F a bar girl. Because sometimes you're not sure of the reason why they're in this particular profession. I don't ask. They ain't going to tell. <laughs> all right. That's not my forte. But that's where I'm going to end it today. Just wanted to have some fun with you guys. I'm sorry that I came through with part two of this particular topic. I definitely wanted to keep the videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and that's how we're going to keep it. When the vlogs come, we're going to keep that same schedule, guys, all right? Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and try to live stream on weekends. I'm about to go now because the rain seems to want to come down a little harder. So, Dr. Mike is officially out. Which means I am going now. Oh, bye-bye. As always, love you guys. Mahokita mabuhai. Peace. And if the window, if it was a little bit windy and you didn't catch my words, I'm sorry. I wanted to record outside and that seemed like a good idea at first, but now it's not a good idea. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Mike is out.